So for this activity, we're going to do a little simulation with a trebuchet. So what you want to do once you log into the Explore Learning is you want to search for trebuchet. And this is the one that you're going to want. And we're going to launch the gizmo. And what I always suggest is that from here, underneath where it says Lesson Info, that you print out the vocabulary sheet. And you should recognize some of these vocabulary words and the definitions. And then the student exploration sheet. And so this is the guide that takes you through how to complete the gizmo. And you don't have to print this out, but you can record your answers in your notebook or in a piece of paper. Um, you could copy it if you wanted to into um, a Google Doc and then you could type right onto it. Uh, but you don't have to print it out. So here is our uh, trebuchet gizmo. And what I'm going to, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. Uh, there is some sound for this, but I have turned the sound off for this video. Uh, you can change all of these different parameters, these different design parameters. Uh, and when you do that, you can do um, a launch test. And you can see exactly what happens with the motion of your trebuchet. It gives you the launch angle, gives you the initial speed. This would be your launch speed. Uh, I'm not going to change any of those for this one. Um, then you hit reset, and then you can make any changes that you want here, and then you can hit the launch test. The other thing you can do is once you have your parameters uh, set, is you go to the launch tab and you have your trebuchet over here and then you've got the target on your castle. And based on how you designed it up here, when you hit play, it will launch your trebuchet. Now the goal of this is to get this projectile to go all the way over and to smash through the wall of the castle. Right? It gives you a little uh, results from your launch that's up here. It tells you that your projectile fell short. It even puts a little flag as to where the projectile goes. Once it's done, you can reset it, and you could do it again if you'd like. You can also click Show Grid, and you can pause it at any point while your projectile is flying through the air. I'm going to reset it. You can even add flames. Look at that. So now you can throw a fireball, not just your regular projectile. Look at how horrific, horrific that is. Boom, same spot. The other thing you can do up here is you can change the scene. So here's our Siege of Acre, and then you've got another castle. And then there's a distance contest, right? So you can see how far you can get your projectile to land on the other side. Uh, you can also change it too so that you have an atmosphere or not. So I'm going to leave it on the atmosphere for this. Uh, once you throw a projectile or two and it starts to leave the flags, we'll just throw this one right over here. It's not going to go very far. And you have that flag that's over there. You can also reset the flags to get rid of them. And then you can always go back to the design and change the design parameters and go back and see how your projectile actually flows through the air. If you can hit one of the castles or if you can make it go as far as it can go. Uh, and that's it. Uh, you obviously have the screenshot, uh, arrows, and you can turn the sound on and off for this one. Good luck building your trebuchets.